Queen Elizabeth stripped Prince Harry of his titles. He may not be Prince Harry for much longer, says one story. A tabloid is reporting that Queen Elizabeth has stripped Prince Harry of his titles. This would mean he is no longer the Duke of Sussex, nor is he a prince at all. Did the Queen finally snap? Furious Queen strips him of title. The cover story of Life and Style boldly says, Harry no longer a prince. The prodigal son has angered the Queen enough to pay the ultimate price, a total removal of his royal titles. An insider says that the Queen wasn't going to let the Sussexes walk away without consequences, and she's not afraid to take it further. What was the straw that broke the camel's back? Well, the magazine says, it was the Netflix deal and the news that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had signed with the Harry Walker Agency. Queen Elizabeth feels the couple didn't earn these deals with anything other than their royal connection, with an insider saying, Do you really think if they were commoners it would have happened just like that? No. Queen Elizabeth apparently believes that Prince Harry and Markle are turning the monarchy into a trashy cash cow, and this is the only way to stop them. He's still a prince. If Prince Harry was stripped of the title prince, You'd have heard about it from some place other than this outlet. It would be on the front page of every newspaper in the US and UK, and it would trend on Twitter for days. Gossip Cop just needs to gesture broadly and point out that the significant news is limited entirely to this one tabloid cover. Plus, the public speaking and Netflix deals both happened months ago, so why would Queen Elizabeth get angry over them now? Commoners do get deals like that all the time actually. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did not get their Netflix or public speaking deal simply because they're in the royal family. If that was the case, then every royal would be producing documentaries for Netflix. Princess and second cousin could get a deal according to Life and Style's logic. The Sussexes got their deals because people care about what they have to say, and that's not something you change just by switching a title. Also. Commoners get the sweeping majority of these deals so long as they have enough influence. The tabloid even lists the Obamas and Clintons as fellow Harry Walker clients, and they don't have royal titles either. As for the trashy cash cow comment, well. The royal family as a whole is and has been kind of a cash cow. The monarchy normally brings hundreds of millions of tourist cash to the country every year, with exceptions for COVID related lockdowns. Of course, it's not really a flattering way of putting it, but that's the truth. It's not something that's unique to Markle and Prince Harry. There's a clear target here. Despite this story being explicitly about Prince Harry, the tabloid still takes time to specifically slam Markle. It says the royals blamed her for everything because this flashy money-hungry behavior wasn't exhibited by Prince Harry before Meghan came along. The behavior claim pretty much comes out of nowhere and has nothing to do with the Duchess of Sussex. This tabloid has no insight into Markle's life whatsoever. It claimed she was three months pregnant last July, which would mean she's practically due now, which she visibility isn't. She apparently wanted to turn baby Archie into a reality TV star, but she's made it clear that she will not allow cameras in her home. It also creepily reported that Prince Charles had a crush on her. A palace source told we that crush was not just ridiculous, but also not true and rubbish. This title stripping story is just the latest absurdity to come out from this tabloid. Sadly, we don't think it will be the last.